the channel if you're new here my name is shells and if you love all things sewing and fashion then you are in the right place and today i'm going to add to that that if you are also on a wardrobe building journey like me then you're definitely in the right place um I got into my own head a bit um, when partway through filming this video um, and I was saying to myself, why are you doing another, you know, t-shirt tutorial slash sew along when there's so many out there? I thought I would just take a moment to explain that one of the things I want to do on this channel is to, I really want to help you guys create a wardrobe that will stand the test of time and also save you making some of the mistakes that I made when I just got into sewing. I've said this before, but when I first started sewing, I wasn't really sewing things that reflected my style. Um, in all honesty, I probably didn't really know what my style was back then and it's something I'm still working on now. Um, in terms of learning. I don't think I found it, but I'm learning it. I'm learning more about my style and what I like. Um, so yeah, I wasn't really sewing things that reflected my style. But one thing I do know for sure is that the things I made then, some if not all of them, I wouldn't wear today. So to save you time, money, and wasted fabrics, one of the things I wanna do is help you to get your wardrobe in order through sewing your own wardrobe essentials, but also by being more intentional with your sewing and fashion choices because I think it's important or I've learned the importance of having a wardrobe that works. And I think we all need a wardrobe that works for us. Getting dressed is something we do every day. And it's something I used to hate. Maybe hate's a strong word. It's something I really didn't enjoy doing. I, that I didn't enjoy getting dressed. And it's because... I just didn't have the right things in my wardrobe to work for me and to work for my lifestyle. I could take 15 minutes sometimes in the morning just deciding on what to wear for work. It should never be that hard, or at least I don't think it should ever be that hard. Um, getting dressed, we're often doing it first thing in the morning. You just need to get dressed and go. So I think like having having those essential pieces in your wardrobe that make it easy for you to get dressed is important. and. Because I know how much of a positive impact being intentional and creating a solid foundation in my wardrobe has had on me, I want to share that with you guys and, and to make your, you know, to make getting dressed a more enjoyable experience for you as it now is for me. So anything I can do to help in terms of sewing or, you know, just inspiration, um, you know, fashion tips, sewing tips, I'm I'm going to do it. And this is what I created this channel for. I hope I'm able to help you in your journey whilst I'm also on my journey. With, with that being said, there are some things that never go out of style, um, no matter the season, and these could be considered essential. Some people may think they're the basics. I like to think of them as the foundation. And I believe that we all need a solid foundation. Without a solid foundation, things fall apart. Without a solid foundation, it's hard for us to get dressed in the morning or it's less enjoyable for us to get dressed. So that's why I'm starting with wardrobe essentials over here. Um, and yeah, I'm going to stop yapping on now because I think I've said enough and I think I've got my point across about what I want to do here and what I hope to to give to you guys in terms of um a more enjoyable experience and today we're going to be sewing the vicky sews alia t-shirt in this video um i have one of these already but as spring is approaching i don't see nothing wrong with adding another one to my wardrobe having a couple of good white t-shirts in rotation um is is a good thing i think thanks for listening to me and now we're gonna get into the video so i've gone ahead and cut my pattern pieces out to save time and here we have our front our back our sleeves and our neckband in addition to our fabric i just thought i'd quickly talk through some of the other things that i'm going to be using for um making my t-shirt today and the first thing is a ballpoint needle it's empty because i've just put my last one in my machine a ballpoint needle has a rounded tip and isn't as sharp as other needles and they are very ideal for use with knit and some stretch fabrics. For example, um, your rib knits, uh, your cotton like what we're using today and even fleeces. So I'll be using a ballpoint needle for this project. The next thing I will be using is a twin stretch needle. This is what will create a professional looking finish. So if you don't have one of these, it is definitely worth investing in. And... 
we need matching thread can't do anything without some matching thread and lastly we have some twill tape you only actually need about one centimeters width of twill tape they didn't have that in my local fabric store so i've got an inch wide this is an inch wide piece of twill tape so i will just cut this to size and this again will be creating a professional looking finish and i'll show you, show you how we use this towards uh well during the course of this video so these is this is everything i need to get started um and now that i've done that let's get sewing and we can put the sleeves and neckband to one side for a minute because we're going to begin by attaching our front and back together so you want to lay out your back piece right side facing you and we are going to get our front piece and we are going to lay our front piece so that it's right side facing to our back piece and we're going to align and pin at the shoulder seams. Before I get pinning, I thought it would be a good idea to just time us to see how quick it really takes to do a t-shirt. So I'm going to set the timer for an hour and hopefully we will get it done by within an hour or before an hour. So I'm going to start our timer and we'll keep checking in and let's see. Here's to us sewing a t-shirt within an hour. Right. I like to pin at each end and then I go in the middle just to make sure everything's even. But you can do it however you prefer. Now that we've got our shoulder seams pinned, we can go ahead and baste at one centimeter seam allowance. I am gonna be using my overlocker, so that's why we're only gonna baste these seams today. our shoulder seams basted guys and we are 10 minutes into our project now we are going to pin our side seams right sides together just like we did our shoulder seams and pin pin the next side in the same way and once we've done that we're going to take it to our machine and we are going to baste top to bottom. So I've done all my my shoulder seams and both side seams are done. I'm gonna give them a good press and then we're gonna overlock them on my overlocker machine. I'm using my IKEA tabletop ironing board, which I picked up a few years ago for about 10 pounds. Just wanna give the seams just a quick press before I overlock them. a big fan of pressing as I go because it helps our finished piece just look that much more professional. All my seams are overlocked and pressed and just something worthy of note with this t-shirt. 
seams towards the back when you press them, facing up when you're overlocking them. We've got about 11 minutes left. I don't think we're gonna make this within the hour, but we're not gonna be too far off. Before I move on to the sleeves, I'm just gonna tidy up my um, excess thread. Um, so this can look a little bit more neater before we move on to the next stage. Just gonna share a quick trick that I've learned with you for um, securing overlocked seams. As you can see, we've got this long thread hanging out and I use this thing called a loop turner. They're very handy for um, turning straps in the right way and also for what I'm about to show you. So if you just away and hidden and then just snip that off and there you go and I'm going to do that with the rest and then come back and do the sleeves. So shoulder seams are overlocked and tidied up, side seams are also overlocked, pressed and tidied up. So now we've done that we can put this to the side for a minute and we are going to now work on our sleeves and we're going to take our sleeves Fold them right sides facing, pin, and then sew, or baste, and then overlock. So now we've got both our sleeves. Take it to the machine, baste, overlock, press, and then we'll go ahead and attach them onto the main body of the t-shirt. To the last 20 seconds, guys, we've, well, I've done both sleeves, basted and overlocked them. I'm gonna tidy up the excess thread and then I'm gonna pin them to my main body and we'll move on to the next step. And there we go an hour. I'm just going to restart the timer guys and see what we can get done within another hour. Um, an hour may have been a bit ambitious but um, we'll see what we can get done with the next hour. If you've noticed I've left our main body of the t-shirt inside out because that's how we need it to attach. Right and what we're going to do is match our sleeve seam with our side seam by tucking it just inside, like so. And then we are going to pin to secure, match your notch. And you just wanna keep making sure your edges are aligned as you go all the way around. Now that we've got our sleeve all sewn or pinned together, sorry, we are gonna go ahead to our machine and baste around with a one center seam allowance again. minutes to go until another hour is complete. I finished adding the sleeves. 
so they are all nicely overlocked what i need to do now though is just give them a nice press to take a quick tea break i checked the timer there's 13 minutes left on it um i think if i wasn't trying to film whilst sewing um i could have probably got it done within an hour hour and a half tops so yeah we'll see how long it takes all i've got left to do now is the neck band and the hems and then we're done We want to do now is sew our neckband piece with the wrong sides facing right sides together sorry and a one centimeter seam allowance i really need to invest in some good pressing tools this year because that's one thing i don't have much of And seam with one of the shoulder seams and then we've got our center back center front and Today is a whole new day um, and I finished off yesterday by doing the neck band and sewing it, overlocking it and giving it a good press and today we are now going to add the twill tape to our neck band to hide this exposed overlocked seam here and we are also going to be working on our sleeve hems and t-shirt hem as well so let's get into doing that now. So rather than trim this to size, I'm going to just fold it in half because as you can see, twill tape is something which frays. So if I cut it lightly to fray and then just get messy, so then cut it, I'm going to fold it in half and the length we need, it needs to cover shoulder seam to shoulder seam. So I'm going to go ahead and trim that down and then place it. to do is place the strip of twill tape to the back neckline seam allowance between the two shoulder seams so from shoulder to shoulder and we need to make sure that the twill tape is covering the overlock seam by one to two millimeters just over it so that it's covering it just like so I'm hoping you can see it properly and then we need to just pin
This is our neckline done, guys. We've created a professional looking finished neckline. Um, preferably, I would have wanted to use a one centimeter width tour tape in, to save me having to fold it, but my local fabric line didn't have any, so I just had to make do with what they had. It didn't create as much bulk as I thought it would, which is good, and I'm pleased with the results. So now we can move on to our hems, and then we're done. Sleeve hem allowance is two centimeters, so I'm just gonna go ahead and mark along the sleeve. Front and back. marked out our hemline what we now have to do is fold it to the inside and pin threads when I'm done with my twin stitch and then you can just tie them off on the underneath. we finished our t-shirt all I, that's left to do is to give it a good press and try it on here is my finished vicky sews alia t-shirt guys if you've made it this far in the video thank you so much for watching i really do hope that this sew along will help you go ahead and make your own t-shirt to add to your wardrobe staples please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe drop a comment and let me know what you think of the final look and I